Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and today we are talking about haste spells uh, at pretty much any town hall level, how you want to use them, what is the best technique for deploying them, something I've covered in the past, we'll get to the replays in just a moment. I'm going to be focusing on Town Hall 10 in this video, but this applies to any Town Hall level, trust me. Uh, the mechanics are the same, you're going to be using these on balloons, we're going to be talking about pre-hastes, getting maximum coverage on defenses, and also hasting into defenses to get your balloons in there as quickly as possible. So uh, we have a very in-depth video, hope you guys enjoy it, but let's get right to it. We're going to start off with an example that is not necessarily ideal. Um, this haste was fine um, just to move those balloons. This is a common uh, opener people do at Town Hall 10, even Town Hall 11, Town Hall 12 with the Sui Lalo is they send in a battle blimp with some balloons to get some value, lure out anything in the CC, go from there. Um, so Edox, pretty good opener. Um, everything is good, but let's take a look at these haste spells. They should, um, first of all, that should be covering the Tesla. This is a cleanup. So the main thing is you want to cover as many defenses as possible because you want your balloons to be hasted out of defenses. That was a decent haste over by the town hall. Could have been down a little bit sooner. Maybe could have covered that cannon because you can see once they get to that cannon, they're not in a spell. Um, some kind of spell should cover that. When you're planning your Lalo, um, especially the entry defenses, everything should be accounted for. Um, those defenses should all be covered. The hastes are also a little bit late here. They're not being dropped till after the, the balloons are already uh, in the area. And you can see this haste should be covering the inferno because watch, the balloons go to it, but the haste does not extend to it. So they don't get the haste out of it into the air defense, which would have been helpful to get it down quicker. So in the cleanup attack, which was my attack, not to um, toot my own horn here, it just so happens I... Uh, did the attack so I can give some good commentary on it. Um, one of the main differences uh, that I made was that I got the pre-haste down and the Lalo just goes a lot faster. So there is a small uh, adjustment with the entry, the heroes. Um, not the entry, I guess. Just I did not use my king with the queen. I used him up top to take out a few archer towers and I think maybe even the cannon up there. Or not the cannon, the mortar. So I switched up that part a little bit, but uh, one of the main differences is gonna be in the haste spell deployment. Um, so let's get to this. Um, once again, dropping the haste on the battle blimp. We'll fast forward a little bit. Uh, you typically don't need a rage, just a haste to move those balloons around. They do so much damage, level eight balloons. That you have, don't have to worry about the damage. Just use the one spell space, if anything. Sometimes you might not even need to use any spells. If everything's clumped up, you can get it all taken out without a spell. So that's a, a nice opener. Anyway, like I said, use the queen there. The king is going to be used up top. But take a look at these hastes, and we'll slow it down here. Um, this one covers the Tesla that's next to the mortar. The one by the town hall covers that cannon. And I already dropped the one on the expo and bomb tower because it's all planned out. You can do this, especially in a cleanup attack. Um, even some fresh hits, you can kind of get those pre-haste down. That way you don't have to worry about deploying spells. All you're doing is deploying balloons, maybe a rage or a skellies here and there. But the simple ones, the hastes are already down. They're not going to run out. Um, it's a very rare unless you're putting hastes down from like the end of the attack, like this haste couldn't have been done. And this wasn't even the best haste because it doesn't cover the air defense. So you can see because it wasn't a pre-haste, I couldn't get it perfectly. Um, and only if some of the balloons are hasted out of it, it's a little bit awkward. Not really a big deal because the cannon was so close, but the, the key for haste spells, you can go back and check out some other videos I have on them as well, which are a little bit more, um, you know, when to use the haste versus the rage. I have some content like that. Uh, but the point is, you want them to cover the defense, uh, as many defenses as possible, especially cover whatever defense that is the last one that uh, they'll be encountering within that haste spell. That way they're hasted out of it. You don't want it to not cover it because they slow down and then by the time they take out the defense, they're not getting the effect of the haste spell anymore. Um, okay, so we talked about pre-haste. Definitely recommend it um, when you can, you know, take a second, put them down ahead of time. Not all of them. If you have like seven haste spells, sometimes you don't want them to run out. So you can't put down ones from like the end of the attack. 
Plus, some things are unpredictable, but the initial ones, which are the most important, because uh, oftentimes you're going to be taking out the queen as part of it, um, you're going to be encountering the toughest defenses, you have to get through that part the quickest, that's when you want to pre-haste, so highly recommend it. Um, this one was a nice queen charge Lalo, and this is being used for a different purpose, um, and it relates most directly to the, this type of attack, the queen charged Lalo, but even certain kill squad based attacks as well. Um, if you're having a spell demanding queen charge or kill squad, you might not have a whole lot of spells for the back end. So this is a great example of how to maximize just three hastes. Uh, he had to use, I think, three, what is that, three rages and a jump for the queen. This is a very expensive charge, a good charge, but an expensive one. Um, so he's going to get a lot of value, but only has three haste for the back end. And that means that they're going to have to get the, the most coverage as possible to make this Lalo doable. There's enough balloons, plenty of that. Troop space isn't an issue. It's about the, uh, the balloons uh, in those haste spells. So you can see this first haste, he's going to go ahead and drop on all four of those defenses. Great coverage. And you might be asking, well, why not haste into defenses? Well, there's no immediate need. There's no single Inferno uh, tearing apart his Lava Hounds. The tanking's okay. The issue is not getting into these defenses. Um, the issue is getting through them in a timely manner uh, before the Lava Hounds go down. Uh, so nothing's too pressing. Just needs to make sure they cover. And those three hastes covered so many defenses, three, four defenses each. And uh, it's not the prettiest as things kind of wind down here, but gets the job done. And I think that just shows um, sometimes, especially if it's not a demanding thing where you have wizard towers that are not being tanked, stuff like that. If everything's being tanked by Lava Hounds, don't panic. Don't let the Lava Hounds do their job. Let them tank. You don't have to haste into those defenses necessarily if you have um, everything being tanked and no immediate need to get in there quickly. There's no single Infernos tearing apart your Lava Hounds, stuff like that. So... Let's move on to kind of the opposite example as we wrap up this video. Just three, um, I guess four concise attacks um, on three different bases. This one here um, is a little bit different being that it's kill squad based, but um, it shows the air defenses as they often are not going to, as they often will be, they're not necessarily in the most central locations for tanking, there's wizard towers, there's archer towers, there's going to be teslas, all this fun stuff that's not um, near air defenses, so lava hounds are not going to be tanked, or they're not going to be tanking those defenses, then there's a little bit more of a rush for your balloons. So you got to make sure they get in, get defenses taken out before the defenses take them out. So let's take a look at this here, nice little goblin on the town hall, it's a good thing to do because it also draws the lava hound away. Don't have to worry about your cleanup pups or minions getting on it. Check out these hastes. They're going, they're not even covering those four defenses. So that kind of breaks my first tip, which is you want to cover those uh, back end defenses on the hastes. But it is excusable in some cases when it's absolutely necessary to just get into that first layer of defenses as quickly as possible because you have wizard towers, the lava hound's not going to be there, it's, go it's cutting across. When that's the case, especially over on the right there, that air defense, you can see the haste was way out of the base, but the air defense was the important defense there. So in these cases, it's okay to not uh, cover the defense that you're hasting into if the main goal is just getting that defense. If you have a Lava Hound cutting across a base and the Wizard Tower is not going to be tanked for long, or a Multi-Inferno, um, or you have an air defense you have to get into just with a few balloons to take it out. Those are different types of hastes. Um, those are getting into the base as quickly as possible. If you have more spells to play around with, you can use more of those hastes. Uh, but if you are tighter on spells, and uh, hopefully you won't be in that situation, you can just kind of let the balloons go into the base on their own and haste them through once they're in the base to get you the most value from those haste spells. So different scenarios where you use different haste spells, um, different placements. I hope that, that made sense. I was able to kind of shed some light on that. And of course, of course, of course, use the pre-haste tip, um, especially on cleanup attacks. There's really no excuse not to get those hastes down and then start your balloons, your hounds, and the rest of your spells as you go. That'll do it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.
I sec the tron out.